All right, we're in Chicago right now. It's about nine o'clock in the morning. It's about 33 degrees. Yeah, this is our first day here in Chicago. Initial thoughts, it is very beautiful. Um, the atmosphere is really nice. There's a lot of personality in this city. Not a lot of disturbing noises around here. Just beautiful, quiet, very quaint. Everything is walking distance. Uh, there's a lot of stores, uh, a lot of places to eat around the corner. And the city is very, very nice. There's buildings upon buildings upon buildings and just, it's, it's huge. It's like a mini New York, basically. But I think that's kind of offending because Chicago is its own little place, its own little unique spot in this world. We're currently staying in Airbnb right now. Let's go check it out. My goal in this video is to just show you the bittersweetness of uh, a vacation, especially during the holidays. It's really stressful, really tiring. Um, it's, it's, it's a good type of tired, you know, a good type of stress because we're trying to enjoy, we're trying to see everything. and um, Not a lot of people talk about that during the holidays. I'm probably not gonna talk about it. I'm just gonna show you yeah, all the work that it takes to facilitate these these moments you know especially during the holidays bringing a lot of family together being cordial with one another people that you might not even hang out with from on a consistent basis it's a lot you know it's a lot to take in so we should give a lot of credit to ourselves especially this year and just enjoy what is presently in front of us I think that's most important but I hope in this video you can find some enjoyment. I hope you can see the beauty of Chicago through my eyes because that's what I'm going to try to do. Our first stop was the Bean, formerly called the Cloud Gate. Created by Indian-born British artist Anish Kapoor. It is named Cloud Gate because 80% of its surface reflects the sky and bends the reflection down into a gate shape. Cleaned and polished twice a day, wiped down seven times a day, takes a minute to take it all in. We're at Millennium Park right now. We just went to the Bean. Now we're checking out the faces at the fountain. It's very cold, my nose is dry. But we're having fun. 
designed by Spanish artist Jaum Blenza. Blenza expresses, in a way, the faces are like a mosaic representing the different cultures of the city's people. I think the people go there in order to feel its magnetism. Blenza's intention is not to take the new portraits, but to let the portraits age with time. Day two, we roam to the eye-catching John baptiste Point du Sable Lakeshore Drive. It was renamed to commemorate Chicago's first permanent non-indigenous settler, a native of Haiti, who had a successful trading post in the late 1700s. It had long trails, both paved and natural, friendly to long walks, and breathtaking views of the city. Across the way was our local botanical garden. Plants as far as the eye could see. botanist there even told us about spores and how plants use this as another method to reproduce. After the sunset, we regained our warmth, recollected ourselves, and tried to find a good place to eat. We ended up going to Chinatown, located at the south side of Chicago. It was a great area to relax, to nourish our bodies after a cold day. We ended up at the Ming Hing Cuisine, where we made it right on time for dim sum. A vast range of small Chinese dishes enough to satisfy anyone. so that I could uh, process everything uh, properly. Um, so we're making the most out of the, the time here during Christmas. Uh, everybody's lost a lot of things, but at the end of the day, we get to enjoy what we have left and the, the opportunity we have uh, to get better. So. I actually like celebrating Christmas away from where I actually live. feels like you really get to disconnect from all your responsibilities. Um, and you know, I'm getting older and what I thought would be fun is different now. Like I, I find it really fun to have intimate conversations with my parents, get to know them a little more and just um, be in the background, watching my, watching my family Enjoy themselves. I think it's a really great feeling, and not a lot of people have that opportunity to get closer with one another for various reasons. So it's really, it's really valuable. <laughs> 